Hi young learners see this is a story a very humorous and an adventurous story you know of a naughty monkey and his name is Toto first of all i would like to ask you what is the meaning of adventure adventure abdina enna adventure means an unusual or an exciting experience that you have a risky experience that you take okay so now we are going to see the adventures of toto now you know first of all i would like to say and this lesson has been written by ruskin bond okay so i just want to talk to you uh, or give a, a very brief background of the poet or the writer now ruskin bond is an indian author of british descent abdina he is an indian but born and brought up in british he is considered to be an icon among indian writers and children's authors and a top novelist he prolifically authored inspiring children's books and was awarded the sahitya academy award to honor his work of literature so now let's begin with the story okay first i would uh, like to give you the um summary of the lesson and then i will do the reading uh, along with the reading i will be giving you the hard words also okay so let's begin yes let's begin with the story you know the narrator's grandfather the writer's grandfather had a private zoo he had a private zoo he maintained animals what is kept in the zoo animals are kept in the zoo so what he did was he bought a baby monkey from a tonga driver for 5 rupees and added it to the zoo so already there are animals in the zoo and he a new baby monkey was bought from whom from a tonga driver see i have given you the picture of a tonga there so from a tonga driver you know he had bought it for 5 rupees and he added that little monkey also to the zoo now this new pet had to be kept a name so it was called totu what was the name of the monkey the name of the monkey was totu he was a very pretty monkey you know with bright and mischievous eyes romba prettya very very bright and very naughty the monkey was he was so naughty that he would frighten people by showing his white teeth and the teeth abbe kaam ke mode paathirkinga le when the monkey shows its teeth it looks like as if it's smiling at us and that and the teeth will be so white so he used to frighten the people and also what he had he had dry hands and with quick fingers he would use his tail as his third hand so he had hands and not only using his hands he also used his tail as the third hand now toto looked so cute you know but his presence his coming okay had to be kept a secret from whom you know it had to be kept a secret from the narrator's grandmother because grandmothers you know they don't like she did not like um, new additions because there are already so many pets existing there and new additions of pets you know she did not like because she has to do all the work so this toto had to be kept a secret only the writer that is the narrator and his grandfather only knows that they have bought this toto then you know what they did toto had to be hidden isn't it so where did they hide toto is toto was put in a closet opening into the narrator's bedroom wall and was tied to a peg fastened into the wall so a, a cupboard was there 
and in that cupboard that writer's cupboard toto was kept inside that is the cupboard is in the bedroom and he was tied peg fastened means he was tied into the wall however the naughty monkey you know did not stay there for a long time he could not stay there because it's a very naughty monkey i told you isn't it enna pannuchu appadina he tore off the ornamental wallpaper and pulled out the peg and the aani eduthittu and the aaniye pudingi potruchu and then and the wallpaper potrukanga wall la vandu alaga or paper decorated paper potrukanga adaiyum kilichu eduthaachu he also tore the narrator's school blazer in shreds narrator ude blazer school coat irukla that coat was torn into pieces see how naughty the monkey was okay so let's see what happened whether the monkey stayed by stayed there or it was sent see now grandfather and the writer came to see and you know when they saw all this grandfather was so fond of toto it seems instead of getting angry instead of being angry you know he was so pleased with his destruction he was so happy with the with what toto has done and he is appreciating toto he said that toto is so clever that if he had got more time you know he would have tied the torn pieces of the blazer to make a rope and used it to escape from the window so clever it seems see how he is appreciating toto after this you know toto was put in a big cage in the servants quarters where the servants live no there he was kept in a big cage you know what are the other animals that was there in the zoo a tortoise a pair of rabbits a squirrel and the narrator's pet goat already lived peacefully over there but you know the mischievous monkey troubled all these animals at night and did not let them sleep so this is a very naughty monkey i told you no so it troubled all the other animals now what happened grandfather decided to take him to shaharanpur with him grandfather wanted to go he had to go to collect his pension money so he decided to take this toto along with him so the narrator could not go along with the, the grandfather on his trip so grandfather took home he took toto now what he did was there was a big black canvas kit bag and that was used to carry toto to shaharanpur from dehradun a bag was prepared and it was a canvas bag canvas bag na the shoes la podringa cloth shoes madri white shoes podringa so that material so adala vande there was a bag and he was put inside that bag and he was taken to shaharanpur some straw was put at the bottom of this bag because it has to be comfortable no for that monkey to stay inside the bag was strong enough to prevent uh, toto from escaping or putting his hand out so when he tried to come out of the bag he could only make it roll about on the floor and jump with it into the air so this toto was inside the bag and the bag was zipped it was closed isn't it if he wanted to come out he could not come out he could only roll the bag so when the bag rolled you know in the station in the platform all the people's attention was on the bag so they were wondering what is happening and what is carried inside the bag because the bag was moving here and there on reaching saharanpur you know toto suddenly poked his head out of the bag and grinned widely at the ticket collector when grandfather was producing his ticket what did toto do apdiye thalaye thooki sadana saharanpur la erangana onna thalaye apdi veliye eppadi vanduchine therla thalaye apdi veliye thalli apdi ella pallum theriyra maadhiri yara paathu sirichittirundha it was he grinned at the ticket collector so the collector first he was shocked but after some time you know he regained and then he asked grandfather to pay for the 
animal so grandfather was asked to pay for the animal because if animals are taken um, by train or by bus you know you have to pay for the animals also so the ticket collector asked uh, grandfather to pay for the animal to the annoyance of grandfather the ticket collector referred to the monkey as a dog now you know he got so angry the ticket collector and he is uh, uh, he is annoying grandfather also grandfather in kovapadthraaru enna nu solli idu monkey na koopada maten idu or dog appdin solli the dog ku neenga enna pannano neenga you have to pay the money he says so grandfather made an attempt to convince the collector but had to pay finally how much he had to pay 3 rupees as a fare for toto so what happened he he tried to convince but the ticket collector did not get convinced he because he was very angry he he was shocked you know when uh, toto poked his head out so he was very angry and he asked grandfather to pay for the animal so he had to pay how much 3 rupees for toto so grandfather was so irritated grandfather took out his pet tortoise from his pocket and asked the ticket collector to charge for it as well now he was carrying a tortoise also tortoise na the arm and solrom la adha vandu pocket la carry panniterundara avarku romba kovam vandirchi yaarku grandfather so what he is doing he took that tortoise and showing he is showing uh, the ticket collector you want uh, to pay for this also so funnily enough the ticket collector examined the tortoise closely and said that there were no charges to be paid since that pet was not a dog only for dogs they take money it seems not for the other animals so he took and he examined he saw the tortoise and he is telling you need not pay for the tortoise okay finally after all this happened you know toto was accepted by Uh, grandmother grandmother accepted uh, toto she said okay let's have and he was given a very comfortable home in the stable stable is where these donkeys and horses live okay so that's called the stable so he was to stay there with the family donkey nana nana adudi family oda it was there in the stable and that was a donkey and this monkey was kept in that stable However on the first night of his stay Toto hung on to the donkey's long ears with his sharp teeth and never ever became friends with him see this Toto troubled the donkey also it did not leave the other animals there and what it did see what all it does it hung hung means abbe palla kadichikitte adudey kaad abbe iluthukitte adu sharp teeth la kaada iluthukitte thongiyittunda how will the animal feel so this donkey became so angry with toto so he could never ever become friends with the donkey another adventure of this toto you know first one saharanpur and before that was in the cupboard and then comes saharanpur's experience and then comes with the animals other animals and uh, finally it came to the donkey and it could not stay with the donkey also now a next adventure of this toto let's see toto used to love hot water baths in winter season because it was very cold so it liked to have hot water bath grandmother would give him a large bowl of warm, warm water and toto would first test its temperature seems with his hand see first it would keep its hand and test how we used to how we check right the temperature the the heat of the water same way it used to check and then he would step into it gradually little by little slowly one foot and then the other foot he used to keep and then he would sit comfortably with the water up to his neck and rub the soap all over himself with his hands or feet and when the water would cool down you know he would run out quickly and go to the kitchen fire to dry himself there was kitchen in the kitchen there was fire kept so suppose the water became cool you know he would he would run there in this case anyone would laugh at him when he is doing this action 
and sometimes he would get hurt and sometimes he would never like to or he would refuse to take a bath one day you know totu almost boiled himself alive while trying to bathe he would have boiled himself abadina or tannila sudu tannila vilundu alive abadi boil ay boil ay irukum so so mischievous this uh, totu was he saw a large kitchen kettle left on the fire to boil for tea see kettle ingrad vandu handle lo round shape la tea podrathukku or vessel adu okay it will have a trunk and from that uh, the tea will be poured and there will be a handle okay this kitchen kettle was a very big one and uh, it was kept on the fire and water was there in the kettle for tea what he did was he removed the lid and found the water warm for him to take bath so what did he do he got in with his head sticking out of the open kettle he did not know that it was a kettle and it was on fire ingrad theriyama it went inside the kettle and only its head is outside a little while later what happened the water began to boil and totu raised himself but sat down again since it was cold outside so what happened little after little while the water started to boil and uh, it stood up again sat in because outside it was cold he hopped up and down many times till grandmother came and took out a half boiled totu from the kettle see it was almost half boiled if grandmother wouldn't have come you know this totu would have died inside the kettle so that very naughty this totu was okay now grandmother uh because of grandmother totu escaped but that monkey's monkey business you know this continued it could not stay as a pet any more in that house once what happened it uh, stuffed itself stuffed stuffed himself with rice that is pulao was kept on the table that was lunch time and pulao was kept to serve for all of them and you know what this monkey did it went and hid itself inside the pulao as soon as grandmother saw she started to scream when she started to scream what totu did it threw plates at her and a glass of water threw on the face of one of the aunts one aunty was also there and she tried to send totu away so it threw a glass of water on that aunty now grandfather came when grandfather came totu picked up the dish and got out to sit in the branches of the jackfruit tree so it took that pulao plate of pulao and it went and sat on the branches of the jackfruit tree there he stayed all afternoon and he ate slowly little by little and he finished all the rice so this irritated grandmother and you know and and to irritate grandmother what that uh, monkey did was he threw the dish from the tree it seems and that dish that dishes that and the patra abdi broke into pieces the family could not tolerate all this can anyone tolerate though it is a pet you know it cannot do all this very bad so very naughty the monkey was let's see what they decided now the middle class family of the narrator see the family was not very rich not very poor avangalala vandu marapadi marapadiyum they could not afford their frequent losses idu idu nasam maakradella marapadi marapadi avangalala vaanga mudiyala they were not that rich so what happened was they decided something grandfather sold him back to the tonga driver for 3 rupees so he bought for 5 rupees and he sold to the same tonga driver for 3 rupees and 2 rupees was a loss for grandfather so all the adventures of totu was given i think you understood the lesson and see what all totu did isn't it very mischievous so from where it was bought it was sent back to the 
same place okay now i'm going to read the chapter now turn with me to page number 7 the adventures of toto grandfather bought toto from a tonga driver for the sum of 5 rupees the tonga driver used to keep the red little monkey tied to a feeding turf and the monkey looked so out of place there that grandfather decided he would add the little fellow to his private zoo the meaning of feeding turf is a container container for feeding the animals and tonga is a horse cart okay now toto was a pretty monkey his bright eyes sparkled with mischief beneath deep set eyebrows and his teeth which were a pearly white were very often displayed in a smile that frightened the life out of elderly anglo indian ladies but his hands looked dried up as though they had been pickled in the sun for many years yet his fingers were quick and wicked and his tail while adding to his good looks also served as a third hand he could use it to hang from a branch and it was capable of scooping up any delicacy that might be out of reach of his hands the meaning of anglo indian anglo indian means a person relating to both britain and india so like an intercaste marriage uh they would have done that is from people from britain and india uh, they make a family okay and then scooping up abdina lifting scooping up means lifting okay grandmother always fussed when grandfather brought home some new bird or animal so it was decided that toto's presence should be kept a secret from her until she was in a particularly good mood grandfather and i put him away in a little closet opening into my bedroom wall where he was tied securely or so we thought to a peg fastened into the wall peg abdina a hook fastened abdina tied so it was tied to a hook into the wall a few hours later when grandfather and i came back to release toto we found that the walls which had been covered with some ornamental paper chosen by grandfather now stood out as naked brick and plaster the peg in the wall had been wrenched from its socket and my school blazer which had been hanging there was in shreds i wondered what grandmother would say but grandfather didn't worry he seemed pleased with toto's performance so the word meanings here are ornamental ornamental abdina very decorative and then naked abdina uncovered which is not covered wrenched abdina broke socket abdina this is an attachment socket abdina attachment shreds means cut into thin pieces okay then he is clever said grandfather given time i am sure he could have tied the torn pieces of your blazer into a rope and made it escape from the window his presence in the house still a secret toto was now transferred to a big cage in the servants quarters where a number of grandfather's pets lived very sociably together a tortoise a pair of rabbits a tame squirrel and for a while my pet goat but the monkey wouldn't allow any of his companions to sleep at night so grandfather who had to leave dehradun next day to collect his pension in saharanpur decided to take him along the meaning of sociably is in a very friendly manner unfortunately i could not accompany grandfather on that trip but he told me about it afterwards a big black canvas kit was provided for toto this with some straw at the bottom 
became his new abode when the bag was closed there was no escape toto could not get his hands through the opening and the canvas was too strong for him to bite his way through his efforts to get out only had the effect of making the bag roll about on the floor or occasionally jump into the air uh, an exhibition that attracted a curious crowd of onlookers on the dehradun railway platform what is abode abode means home abode means home Totu remained in the bag as far as Shaharanpur but while grandfather was producing his ticket at the railway turnstile Totu suddenly poked his head out of the bag and gave the ticket collector a wide grin what is this turnstile turnstile you know it's a mechanical uh, gate epdina oruthu dhan poga mudiy apdi thallite oruthu pona aduthunga appo apdi follow pannalam so it is a mechanical gate Uh, allowing one person at a time to pass through the poor man was taken aback but with great presence of mind and much to grandfather's annoyance he said sir you have a dog with you you'll have to pay it pay for it accordingly so annoyance here is to anger someone to make somebody angry In vain did grandfather take Toto out of the bag. In vain did he try to prove that a monkey did not qualify as a dog or even as a quadruped. Toto was classified a dog by the ticket collector and 3 rupees was the sum handed over as his fare. Vain abdina an unsuccessful attempt. Waste அப்புறம் குவாட்ரூப்ட் குவாட்ரூப்ட் மீன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆனிமல் விச் ஹேஸ் ஃபோர் லெக்ஸ் ஓ ஃபோர் ஃபீட் யூ கேன் சே ஃபேர் இஸ் டிக்கெட் ப்ரைஸ் தென் கிராண்ட் ஃபாதர் ஜஸ்ட் டு கெட் இஸ் ஓன் பேக் டுக் ஃப்ரம் ஹிஸ் பாக்கெட் ஆர் பெட் டாட்டஸ் அண்ட் செட் வாட் மஸ்ட் ஐ பே ஃபார் திஸ் சின்ஸ் யூ சார்ஜ் ஃபார் ஆல் அனிமல்ஸ் டு கெட் ஹிஸ் ஓன் பேக் இஸ் இன் ஈடியம் தட் இஸ் டு டேக் revenge the ticket collector looked closely at the tortoise prodded it with his forefinger gave grandfather a pleased and triumphant look and said no charge it is not a dog prodded abdina pushed when totu was finally accepted by grandmother he was given a comfortable home in the stable where he had for a companion the family donkey nana stable is a place where horses and donkeys are tied to on toto's first night in the stable grandfather paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable to his surprise he found nana without apparent cause pulling at her halter and trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay halter abdina it's a strap around the head of a, a horse or any other animal used for leading it taking it okay grandfather gave nana a slap across her haunches and she jerked back dragging toto with her he had fastened on to her long ears with his sharp little teeth toto and nana never became friends haunches means back a great treat for toto during cold winter evenings was the large bowl of warm water given him by grandmother for his bath he would cunningly test the temperature with his hands then gradually step into the bath first one foot then the other until he was into the water up to his neck once comfortable he would take the soap in his hands or feet and rub himself all over when the water became cold he would get out and run as quickly as he could to the kitchen fire in order to dry himself if anyone laughed at him during this performance toto's feeling would be hurt 
and he would refuse to go on with his bath one day totu nearby nearly i'm sorry succeeded in boiling himself alive a large kitchen kettle had been left on the fire to boil for tea and totu finding himself with nothing better to do decided to remove the lid finding the water just warm enough for a bath he got in with his head sticking out from the open kettle this was just fine for a while until the water began to boil totu then raised himself a little but finding it cold outside sat down again he continued hopping up and down for some time until grandmother arrived and howled him ha- half boiled out of the kettle hold him means pull him out if there is a part of the brain especially devoted to mischief that part was largely developed in toto he was always tearing things to pieces whenever one of my aunts came near him he made every effort to get hold of her dress and tear a hole in it one day at lunch time a large dish of pulao stood in the center of the dining hall table we entered the room to find toto stuffing himself with rice my grandmother screamed and toto threw a plate at her one of my aunts rushed forward and received a glass of water in the face when grandfather arrived toto picked up the dish of pulao and made him ex- made his exit through a window we found him in the branches of the jackfruit tree the dish still in his arms he remained there all afternoon eating slowly through the rice determined on finishing every grain and then in order to spite grandmother who had screamed at him he threw the dish down from the tree and chattered with delight when it broke into a hundred pieces spite means he wanted to hurt grandmother he wanted to uh, make grandmother angry he wanted to annoy her he wanted to offend her okay and then chattered means the sound made by the monkey obviously toto was not the sort of pet we could keep for long even grandfather realized that we were not well to do and could not afford the frequent losses of dishes clothes curtains and wallpaper so grandfather found the tonga driver and sold toto back to him for only 3 rupees I hope you all understood the lesson children I explained I have given the summary of the lesson and then I have done the reading part and given you the hard words and its meanings okay thank you very very much